Salam and hello everybody. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all doing really well. So welcome to my latest video where I share a week in my life. You'll see some family dinner ideas, some meal prep and a couple of other things I've been making and enjoying. So I do hope you find this video useful. So it was mid-morning, Nuseba, my youngest, was having her nap and I was just doing a couple of chores, putting the washing up. And then I thought I'd make myself a nice breakfast and enjoy a bit of the lovely sunny weather we've been having. So for breakfast, I made myself some avocado and poached eggs on toast. If I remember, I'll link a recipe in the description for how to make this, but it's so simple. So I've mashed up some avocado. Spread it on some toast. And topped with some poached eggs. I had that with some tea. And I really enjoyed that little bit of time to myself. And then Harun came in the garden. So we read a couple of books together. Long ago, there was a boy named Christopher Robin who had many friends in the hundred acre wood. Later that afternoon, I was preparing for dinner. So I decided to make some homemade pizzas, something I haven't really made in a while, like making everything from scratch, including the pizza dough. And mashallah, they turned out really delicious. And it's just different. When you make everything from scratch, it just tastes so much better and the effort of it makes you appreciate it more as well. Don't you think? That's how I feel anyway. Whereas if I got the pizza bases from the supermarket and just put our own toppings on, it's not quite the same. But alhamdulillah for those shortcuts when you need them. So I topped with this gima or mincemeat topping and I basically just browned the mincemeat in a pan. I did a bit of salt, garlic and ginger paste, a couple of spices. And then I chopped up some veg, so I've got red onion pepper, mushrooms and a couple of baby plum tomatoes. Once the pizza dough was ready, I split it into three because I had um, two pizza trays and I used another baking tray as well. And then I just rolled out the pizza dough into the shapes of the pizza trays and the other tray.
For one of the pizzas, I added some chili, some jalapenos, but uh, for the others, I didn't because the kids sometimes can't handle the spice. By evening, it was raining loads and there was even some thunder and lightning, which was actually quite welcome because it had been quite hot for a couple of days and we needed the rain and the plants needed that rain. On Wednesday I did a little bit of meal prep because that's the day we normally do our groceries. So one thing I've been doing is freezing onions and I sliced a load of onions. So I put the sliced onions into some muffin trays and then pop them in the freezer overnight. I also prepared some kebab mixture for the following day because I thought we could have some burgers and chips on that day. So once I'd prepared the mixture for the kebabs, I popped it into the fridge overnight. The following morning, I took the onions out and uh, took them out of the little compartments, the muffin trays, and uh, popped them into a freezer bag. This way they don't stick together. I think each compartment, there's probably half an onion. So for my curries, I usually use two onions, so I'd use four of those muffin tray compartments. One thing I've really been craving is a burnt Basque cheesecake and it's really really delicious and creamy. If you like your cheesecakes you're gonna love it or if you like your creamy kind of desserts you'll be a fan. First of all I lined the cake tin and put something heavy in the center to keep the baking paper in place and then it's just about whisking lots so you add the soft cheese and the sugar and then whisk that for a while. the eggs in one at a time and whisk well each time. So it's actually quite easy to make and I tend to refrigerate it and I feel like it tastes much nicer the following day or the next few days and I quite like it when it's cold as well. So yeah once you've added the eggs you add in the sour cream, whisk that in. then add in some salt, uh, corn flour and vanilla extract and just whisk away again. And then just pour that carefully into the cake tin. Tap it on a flat surface to get all the bubbles to the top and then bake it for about 50 minutes and you'll have a nice brown layer on the top which is the look we're going for. 
So that night I shallow fried the kebabs. And prepared the burgers. And you have to leave the cheesecake for a few hours at least before you take it out of the cake tin. So just carefully peel back the baking paper. And slice that bad boy. I topped it with some strawberry dessert syrup. And mashallah, it was so delicious. And I feel like making it again. And I probably will really soon. <laughs> So I was just showing you how I've been using my onions. Basically take them out of the freezer, cook them like normal and they taste fine to me. And that night, I think it was Saturday night, we enjoyed Extraction 2 on Netflix. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Jazakallah, thank you so much for watching. Inshallah, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Salaam. Bye.